first really year eight six strings playing a gypsy dance. And obviously I don't need to tell you what the clarinets played because they played a medley from the film from the Harry Potter films. Uh, those of you who've been coming to these concerts for a little while will hopefully automatically see progress. And you'll also see progress within, we hope, this concert. The junior wind band haven't been practicing together for more than less than two terms. And you should see progress then when we look at some of the students in, say for example, the sax ensemble who've been at this game for a long time. The progress doesn't stop here. Uh, over the next fortnight, three weeks, we will be having four of our very talented young musicians who will be entering the Ames Young Musician of the Year and great excitement uh, within the next fortnight because we have children off to Hong Kong for the Focus Year Primary Music Festival and we have a large number of students as you will probably know because you have to shell out the money for it off to see, off to see Moscow uh, uh, to perform at the BSF Festival and I'm sure all those children will really benefit from having the opportunity to perform with other talented musicians from not just Southeast Asia, but the whole world. Um, we are now going to, I'm going to invite a very important person out, Mr. Daniel Valles, has been very much an organiser in anything pertaining to brass. So I'm going to hand you over to Daniel. The East, Japan, the East Japan earthquake and tsunami occurred on the 11th of March 2011. It hit Japan, which is the most well-prepared country for earthquakes. The magnitude of the earthquake was 9.0, and the tsunami waves were up to 40 meters high, with both being the highest in Japan's history. It was not just a one-day thing. There were 262 earthquakes, which are magnitude 5.5 or higher during the first seven days, and a number of big earthquakes are still happening in many areas of Eastern Japan every day. More than 27,000 people are dead or missing so far and still counting. Many cities and towns have been completely destroyed. Many survivors and evacuees have no access to basic life necessities, which have been, and been facing serious lack of food, water, oil, medication, and medical equipment. Brass Ensemble will be playing Song for Japan, which was a collaborative project between EMI, Universal, and Warner. The royalties were waived and all proceeds were donated to Japanese Red Cross.
The jazz ensemble is performed and arranged of the Jerry Mulligan standard by Brothers. This arrangement has been a collective one with all of the ideas and concept in its device by the group for this concert. Because everybody was able to offer their ideas and their own opinion on what should happen in the arrangement, we have a piece of music unique to this ensemble with all of their creativity coming together to create what we are playing. The original song was composed in the late 40s and has a relaxed and warm feeling to it, which is definitive for the West Coast styles within which it was recorded. We played it slightly less laid back than the original as it's our rights as arrangers.
can't get the staff these days. What I was saying was, you have to put up with the horrible practice sound, and I think we're fast approaching the stage where we ought to have a night out at no black tie with them entertaining us. You are soon to hear um, a six brass group uh, playing Maria. And when I think of this, I think of a dad who's been chasing around all afternoon, dealing with WhatsApp, saying, Dad, you've got to bring my face, you've got to bring my So they're going to, as we know, West Side Story, this is where Maria comes from, and it's a modern ad adaptation of Rome Romeo and Juliet. Uh, the play's out in the New York slums, and was the first musical that actually talked about social grievances. And the musical added a whole new layer of meaning to the Bard's tale of tragic lovers, with its portrayal of the rival gangs, the Jets, streetwise white New York teens, and the Sharks, tough Puerto Rican immigrants. presenting the senior choir and we're going to be singing Irving Berlin's Blue Skies. Um, it actually came from the Roger and Hart musical Betsy and this song was um, performed for an encore of a total of 24 times. So it's been performed by people like Frank Sinatra, Ella Fitzgerald and now the SKL Senior Choir.
reason, the music department are known as the Go Turners. But over the last 18 months, we've co opted some baby goats. And the choir's performance was a real indication of how reliable the baby goats are and how much we value them. Um, we found out that the soloist in the choir right, uh, couldn't sing, had a sore throat. So, Irina, who will introduce the item to you, she's one of the baby goats and she normally takes the sopranos, the sectionals, because we do like to develop their um, ability to take the rehearsal. And then we discovered that a lot of the altos had sore throats. So, right, Irina, in you go, sight read the alto part. And uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about uh, the six formers' involvement in other events that we're going to be doing in the future.
works. Because as you can see, Mr. Murphy is running round rather a lot. And that's why it says in my running order, run Scott, run. Uh, you just heard the Year 9 string sips play water music and the sip saxophone group play welcome dance. And in the next section, you, um, Scott said let there be light and there was light. Uh, you're going to hear a brass group, a sips group, uh, playing the throne, throne room. So I got somebody to do some research on it. And the, th th the throne room was one of the most popular tracks within the Star Wars soundtrack recorded by the LSO in the 1970s. Star Wars music is credited as heralding the beginning of a revival of grand symphonic scores in the late 1970s. One technique in particular, which the A-level students will be able to tell you about, is an influence of a revival of a technique called pipe motives which is most famously associated with the operas of Richard Wagner. And a light motif is a, a phrase or a melodic cell that signifies a character, a plot, an element, a mood, or an idea. It's commonly used in modern film scoring as a device for mentally anchoring certain parts of a film to the soundtrack. So I'm hoping now that the brass group is anchored in place. And we can carry on.
Good evening, everyone. ESKL Saxophone Ensemble is going to perform a piece called Flam tonight for you. Uh, this piece is one of the three written by Rob Buckman, who actually runs the saxophone department at the Royal Northern College of Music in Manchester. Working with music undergraduates has obviously had an influence on him as a composer, as all three movements are named after alcoholic drinks. This piece is challenging and it's reassuring to see that the ensemble is going from strength to strength and performing at a high standard. Please enjoy. Thank you. 
the page turning, it's very, very difficult to um, Before we go on to our next piece, there's one other young lady who was given this award in assembly, but we feel it's such a big award that she should have it. She's going to be a baby goat, she's only in year 10, uh, but she's going to be, has been, our orchestral manager. And it's quite a big orchestra to manage, and she does all the jobs that need to be done as a professional orchestral manager. So I would like Yu Ying to come out from her hiding place and give her a present that we promised months ago, but because she wasn't organising it, it's taken a long time. Yu Ying. to thank all of my team, all of you for your support, and most importantly, for all the children and their hard work and their teamwork and their discipline. Uh, you're now going to hear Game of Thrones, but I'm going to ask Min Kai to come and tell you a little bit about Game of Thrones because I've never seen it. Senior wind band will play the theme from popular television series Game of Thrones, composed by Ramin Jawadi. It involves typical writing for film. 